today's stream is going to be how to build discipline. Obviously, this is uh, something that does uh, change from person to person, but I had to build it myself. I wasn't very disciplined like three or four years ago, to be honest. I'm a lot more disciplined than I was you know, three or four years ago. So um, it's something that you have to build. And, you know, there's multiple ways to do it. There's different things that you can do. I'm going to be giving some stuff that I did and just general tips, really. Um, if you do want anything specific, then you can just drop me a message on Discord. I'm happy to happy to reply to them or just drop it in the chat and we can we can have a little little chat about that. Yeah, some of this will, will apply. Some of it won't. Hopefully you enjoy it. And if you do, hit the like button because um, it really does help. So the first one is to work out um, and not only to work out, but to work out consistently. And throughout all of this, um, the consistency over a long period of time is what makes the discipline. Doing something once does not build the discipline. Um, the, the discipline is built when you don't want to do something and then you do it anyway. Um, so a lot of people don't really want to work out, including myself. Um, but the discipline is built when you go and do it anyway. So yeah, work out consistently. Next one is to find someone to keep you accountable. Again, I, I, I mentioned this in almost everything that we do. Find a mentor because it, it's just going to make your kind of um, learning process so much faster if you have someone to keep you accountable. Um, yeah, I can't really say much more about that. I go over it quite a bit. Um, next one is to build automated routines. So instead of just building, um, building a routine, doing it, I don't know, for a week, a month, whatever, try and build it where it's, um, you don't have to think, right? So you're 100% on autopilot when doing those routines, because when you, um, I don't know, maybe you're not feeling too good or whatever. If those routines are on autopilot, you don't have to put any en energy into it. It's just automated, right? Um, so it's going to help you to um, put those efforts into something else. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's obviously, it takes time. Building discipline does take time. But yeah, the routines is definitely something that is going to help you with that because it'll get you into a, well, I guess a routine. Um, or a habit of doing something. Next thing is do things that are hard. Now, this is obviously um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like subjective from person to person. Um, so something I would deem hard to do, you might think it's easy and the other way around as well. So um, find something that's tough and do it pretty much um that can be physical mental whatever um it's just the act of doing things that you don't really want to do consistently is gonna make um over time those tricky things that you thought were difficult easy in the future um yeah obviously just doing one of these things isn't really gonna do much you've got to do quite a bit to then build discipline that you can then apply into your training. Next thing is have an end goal in mind. So if you're, for example, wanting to make a thousand pounds a day from trading, you can't, if someone's telling you to work out, for example, or read a book, um, you, you, if you read this book, it's not gonna make you a thousand pounds, is it? Um, but the the act of reading that book can get you closer to making that one thousand pounds a day. So having that end goal in mind lets you do the the tough things or the the things that you don't want to do because it you know that it's getting you closer to that end goal. Um, yeah, otherwise you're you're just doing tough things just for the sake of doing tough things, right? There's, there's not really much point of it, you know, you have to have that end goal. And then 
on top of that, you have to stay focused on that goal because if you forget about it, then again, you're not doing it for any reason. Um, when things get tough, you'll just quit, right? You'll just, you'll just decide, okay, I can't be asked for this anymore. It's, it's, I can't, you know, I don't want to do it. And because you don't have that end goal in mind, you're just going to give up and, and, and quit. And all of that work that you've done previously would have just been for nothing, right? So yeah, make sure to have that end goal. How many more do we have? Two more. Um, build trading systems. This isn't really going to build the discipline, but it's going to um, <clears throat> help you. It's going to help you to not uh, break that discipline, right? Because if you build a trading system, you have to follow it, right? Because it's it's a it's a system that you have, or it's a process that you have to follow to get the end result, and if you were to build that trading system and break it, then it's, you know, again, you're not disciplined. So following that trading system, even if it's something super, super simple, like trading at the same time every single day, if you continually do that, it is going to build the discipline because you're not going to uh, open the charts other than in that trading time. Because if you don't have any rules, then you can't be you can't have something to be disciplined with, right? There's got, you've got nothing to nothing to actually measure. And the next one, which is kind of leading on, uh, is to trade the same time every day. Now, this is this leads into loads of other things. It's not really for performance, although it can be. It's just to get you into the routine. It's going to get you. Um, let's say I don't know. Um, a friend wants to go out and do something or whatever. It's probably not the best time to do that, but whatever. Um, that's the thing that I'm going with. So if a friend invites you out or whatever, and it's right at your trading time, you have a choice whether to go out or to trade at that trading time. And yeah, if you go out, then it's probably not gonna end well. Um, and yeah, you would have not had the discipline to say no and just trade. So, yeah, all of these kind of link in together, right? If you were to go out, then you probably don't have a goal in mind. And then you don't actually have... Um, you don't have the mindset to say no to then go with the goal instead. And yeah, all of these things kind of go in together. So, um, yeah, another very, very quick stream. I'm hoping that it was it was kind of good and you got some value from it. But yeah, it, it's, it's very, very general advice. It's not really... It's tough to give advice when it's such a broad topic. Um, so maybe we could do some more like specific, um, I don't know, videos. Maybe we could build like a um, certain trader profiles and then do things for that trader. 